guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. This video is going to be a collab with Lang. What is up, guys? I'm Lang. My channel will be in the description, so go subscribe. Yep, I'll put it in the description. So, this video is going to be life story number... I don't... Four. Four. four yeah, it's life, yeah, it's life story number four. And this is going to be about something that happened at our school. And it, it was actually kind of scary. And it's going to be about... Be, eh. It would be about some bomb threats that happened to our school. Yep, so we had bomb threats in our school about around third grade, I believe, and it was very scary. So pretty much what happened is that if um, a, one teacher got a bomb threat in the elementary school part of our school, we have the lower school, middle school, and upper school, and lower school is elementary, upper school is high school. But if one teacher from elementary school got an email, everyone would like have to go out and evacuate the building. Okay, so pretty much one teacher got a bomb threat and the whole school had to evacuate the building and we all went onto the turf and the turf was so crowded. It was it was like every single grade in friend school. It was insane. And we all were like reading books and stuff. And so after that one was over, we, we all went to lunch and we were like, okay, that was kind of scary. But then like the next day it happened again, except it was sent to the head of the school. And so the whole school, we got to go on the turf again. And that, by that time, it was getting really scary because we didn't know if it was real or not. And it happened again the next day for like the next two days. So yeah, I'll let Lang take it over from here. I actually believe it happened for a whole month, but then they f like found the guy like a year after. But um, they said it was someone who um, went to our school who got like some that, that had something wrong with the school, and he was kicked or something. But I don't know. But. One day, like, it was just crazy. Like, it, it was, we missed, like, three classes because of the bomb threats, because there was, like, three bomb threats, and we missed three classes, like, in a row. And it was just really scary, so the teachers got a little bit more scared than us because one day we were just on the turf eating lunch, reading books, and, like, um, playing around on the turf, and that, that was actually pretty fun. But just the just the um, thought that we were we might have gotten bombed and we might have might die but you know we're not dead so we're here yeah and another scary part about it was that they actually had like fire trucks and bomb sniffing dogs that like pulled up to the school exactly. it was really scary there's like these like canines just walking out like sniffing with like police officers and all that stuff and yeah i got i got pretty scared well since i was in third grade but yeah. anyway um yeah that's pretty much the story. They did find the guy, like Lang said, about a year later. But he went to jail, I think, for false threats. So, yeah. Also, I believe, like, the, like there was cops, like, around the whole school for, like, two years. And, I mean, we, we felt pretty safe. But, I mean, we were still pretty scared after a couple of years. But, yeah, cops were there for a while. Yeah, I just realized that our school got a code on the doors. I just realized that we only got the code after the bomb threats. So, oh, yeah. yeah, that's the reason we got the code. Um, yeah, I guess that's kind of the end of this really quick life story video about something scary that happened to our school. And, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Again, I have not checked on my like, Nike SB unboxing video. It might be up to 2K views now. I don't know. So, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Not